how do you set a keyframe in Autodesk Maya? In this Autodesk Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set keyframes when you're doing animation. A keyframe is a point in time that is a specific parameter or value of an object. Maybe it's position or it's rotation or it's scale. Setting a keyframe in Maya is a three-step process. The first step is to pick the point in time on the timeline. That means pick which frame you want to be on. The second step is to change the value. So that means move the object, rotate the object, scale the object. Then you need to set the keyframe. Step one, pick the time on the timeline. Step two, change the value. Step three, set the keyframe. So how do we set a keyframe in Maya? Step one, I'll select frame one on the timeline. So I've selected the time. Then I'll change a value. If I press W and I move the box here, now the box has translated in the X direction. Then I set the keyframe. To set a keyframe in Maya, press S. This sets a keyframe for everything in the channel box. If you don't see this channel box, just click this icon in the top right. Now, if I move the timeline, nothing happens. We can see a keyframe on frame one, but in order to have animation or interpolation, we need a second keyframe. Remember the three-step process. Step one, pick a point in the timeline, frame 40. Step two, change a value. Step three, press S to set a keyframe. Now, if I move the playhead on the timeline, I can see the motion. There are other ways to set keyframes. We don't have to set it on every property. For example, if I do step one, pick a point on the timeline, frame 110. Now, I will press E to rotate, and I'll rotate in this direction. And then I can just right click, key selected over in the channel box. This is only the rotate X. And now we'll see that the entire time this happens, the rotate X is moving from this point right here where it was set before. Now I can move over here to say frame 161. I can press W and move the cube over to here. And then by shift clicking all the translates, right clicking, key selected. Now we'll notice that it can rotate and move. And the final way to set keyframes in Maya is to use the auto key function. This just speeds up the process by not having you have to set a keyframe every time. Still a three-step process. Pick a point in time, change the value, then set a keyframe. Down at the lower right is the auto keyframe button. So now I pick a point in time, press W, change, automatically sets those two keyframes. I can press E, rotate it, sets a keyframe. Move in time, press W, we'll go up, then this way, automatically sets a keyframe. Press R to scale, automatically sets a keyframe. Move again, press W, sets a keyframe. The problem is if you forget to turn off auto keyframe in Maya, and you accidentally click and move, you are setting keyframes everywhere. So that's the basics of setting keyframes in Autodesk Maya. It's a pretty simple process to get yourself animating. Happy 3D modeling.